Hello there and welcome to uh, this week's tutorial. Uh, this tutorial will be about how to uh, do a bit of UV mapping, uh, but it's going to be primarily showing you how to add tattoos and emissions to your avatar, which seems to be a popular theme these days. So the first thing we're going to do is, um, now that I have my model in here, I've already prepared it for um, bringing in the VR, but uh, we're going to go to the body mesh and we're going to uh, separate the materials to get started. And once it separates into different meshes, I'm going to click on the body specifically. Uh, this lets me go to the uh, tab over here and it'll isolate just the skin texture and uh, I can open that in an alternate program. To open it in another program, uh, what I end up usually doing is uh, I go down to the little folder icon, I click on it, and it'll open the source folder of those um, files, and it'll also show you the name of it. Uh, so I'll copy by hitting Control c on my keyboard the file path, and uh, then you remember the uh, name of the image, and then I'll navigate to that image folder by pasting it in here and hitting enter. So now that you see I'm in here, I'm going to move and switch over to Photoshop by opening this body image right here. Now that I'm in Photoshop, uh, you can see that uh, this is going to be the body texture. You can see the shadows, the fingernails, and uh, all the details. However, one thing you'll notice here is, uh, for example, this is the collarbone, and this is the knee, and this is the elbow. But you only see one of them. Um, that is because if we go back to the model, everything that is on the right side is duplicated and mirrored onto the other. So if I were to just give you an example here and go into texture paint mode and just use, uh, you know, let's say black, um, and then draw on this, it also draws on the other side, uh, which means that, again, it is mirrored. Now, because it is mirrored, there are some types of tattoos, like let's say you wanted to create a sleeve or uh, do anything really. If I were to sit here and just painfully texture paint a tattoo that I wanted by uh, lowering the radius, and I just sat here with a tablet, and I drew out a tattoo, and I also wanted to duplicate it on the other side, then that's great. It'll, it'll work just fine. You can then save it out in the UV editing, and that's great. It'll be its own texture and everything. However, I'm going to show you how to put a tattoo on just one side. So let me go back so I can undo that. And I will go to Google and open up in Photoshop a tattoo that I will be adding to her arm. Now that you see that I'm in Photoshop, I've found a tattoo that, uh, of a fox because she's a fox girl. And uh, I can put this on her by copying and pasting and then going to the png of her skin we can put, just paste that in there and move it around um, but a quicker and easier way to find out where to move it um, is uh going back to blender and going to uv editing mode and when you're in there you can hit edit mode to have all the vertices shown if you hit select all which is a it will show all of those UVs right here. And then we can go to the UV tab down here and hit Export UV Layout. It'll then bring up the folder, which is where the skin is, and I'm going to um, actually export this file and name it uh, Body UV. And I'm going to copy and paste that path just to make sure it goes to the right place. So let's go here, paste that in. All right, so the UV map that we just exported is right here. So I'm going to bring that into Photoshop and drag and drop that. It'll be the exact same size. So I'm going to hit Enter, and then we're going to move that into place. Actually, let me bring that in again because it's uh, the bounding box. I might need that before I position it. So let me move it into place first. It'll click into place, and then you hit Apply. All right, so as you see, it, it has everything lined up, all the fingernails and everything. So this helps a lot. So we can sit here and we can actually move this tattoo to be on her arm. So I'm going to zoom in some. I'm going to also change the opacity a bit so we can see it a bit better. I'm going to shrink this down. 
and place that on her arm like so. Now I'm going to hide that layer with the UV map and save this uh, into the folder where it came from, but I'm going to save it as an alternate. So we're going to name that tattoo. Now we're going to now go back to Blender. Now we're back in Blender. We're going to go to just a normal default mode and exit edit mode. And we're going to click on the uh, body here. We're now going to navigate to where that texture was and we're going to now click on the tattoo one. It'll bring that in and now you see the tattoo is actually exactly where I wanted it. Uh, it actually will take a little bit of moving around usually, but this is where I want it. Uh, but as I mentioned earlier, it is now mirrored on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to show you how to fix that. To fix that, uh, the best method is to go back into Photoshop and take note of that UV map that we didn't delete. Now, in this UV map, there's a, a lot of different areas here that uh, this most likely is used for the legs over here, um, as you can see from the shading. But this area up here, there's a good chance that this is just a blank area and it's not being used for anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back into Blender and grab the mesh and I'm going to grab just the vertices of that area. So the best way to do that is to unselect all with A. If you hit control and tab, you can go to faces mode and we can zoom in here and we can actually click the faces of every single part of the arm that is where the tattoo is. So we're going to do this. All right, so I've selected an entire area. Now I'm going to go into UV editing mode and you'll notice that just that area is selected over here. So if you click select, if you uh, move around in this window and then hit A and select just those, you can actually move those wherever you want. And whatever um, you move it over top of, that area will become what you see in that area and that's called UV mapping. And you can use this for all sorts of things. Uh, you can change eyes. You can have multi. You can uh, have a texture with one eye on the left and one eye of the right, different colors, and everything like that. As long as there's space in the texture, you can do that. So as you can see over here, I've dragged it over top of uh, that area over here. However, it is um, the shading doesn't match. So I'm now going to zoom in and I'm going to shrink that down using S and move it up to this area where the UV didn't look like it was being used. And that color should match the skin with no shading, so we, there's no seams. And that seems to be good. Uh, one way to fix that if there is seams, and I kind of see what might be a seam here, so it might be best to fix that. Now if you go back and reference my um, next seam tutorial, you'll, you'll know that there is a mode called texture paint. And when you're in this mode, you can actually eye drop a color on the screen such as this one, and I'm going to then draw over that area. Uh, it doesn't look like the seam, however, is getting fixed. So what now I'm going to do is use the smear tool and just smear the edge. Actually, uh, my radius on the tool was actually just really thin because of my demonstration earlier of the tattoo. So now I'm smoothing that out, and I'm noticing that seam is now gone. It might not be visible due to YouTube video compression, but I've now fixed that seam. And as you notice, there's now a tattoo on just one side. Uh, now I'm going to go into Unity and show you the step where we can make that tattoo emit light. Now that we're in Unity, uh, you'll want to uh, use a shader on the material that we made uh, that has support for emission. Um, so uh, ones that are common are Cube Paradox, Noe Noe, uh, and uh, a couple others. Standard will work as well if you use that for uh, non-anime type avatars. But uh, once you switch to that type of shader, you'll want to locate the skin. And in this case, uh, I made a single material that's Atlas, all the skin together. 
And uh, under there, there's going to be a, an emission option. So for Noe Noe, for example, it's a little bar, and I can increase the brightness. However, you'll notice that it's increasing the brightness of the entire skin. So what we're going to want to do is make an emission map for just the tattoo. So I'm going to head over to Photoshop and open the texture. Now that we're in Photoshop, you'll notice that I can see the uh, top part here of the skin, and it has the tattoo that we added earlier. So I'm going to zoom in on that, and we're going to create a layer. Um, you can use other programs such as GIMP, but uh, this is the program that I'm going to be using. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select just the black of the tattoo, And then after I do that, and it might take a bit because some of the areas here are going to be a bit uh, tighter. In fact, let me actually do this. If I highlight the entire area, I can go to color range and I can select black and it'll help me a little. Let me select just the black. There we go. So now on this new layer I created, I'm going to make this tattoo emit uh, blue light um, to match the rest of the avatar so you'll notice that I've covered that entire thing in uh, blue and then I will make another layer and make that entire layer black so now I have something called an emission map uh, we're going to also actually blur you can actually sometimes create a nicer light effect by blurring um, the color a bit but for this one this tattoo is going to probably want to be pretty sharp so i'm not going to do it too much so now i'm going to save that out as a, a new image not over top of the old one i'm going to name that body emission next we're going to head back into unity once back in Unity, you're going to see that I'm going to click on the emission map area in Noe Noe, and this is going to bring it up. And I'm going to type in what we typed in earlier, body emish, and I'm going to select the one that we just created, the emission map. <clears throat> so now you'll notice that when I move the emission map, it's only making that area that we colored bright because black does not get lit up. So now I have a tattoo that glows. Now you see a bit of a black halo around that and a way of solving that is i can go back into the original shader uh, texture now and actually um change the color of that black to maybe blue to help it out um i'm gonna do that real quick but uh otherwise um that about covers it for the emissions and the tattoos adding it to the avatar please keep in mind that you can actually reverse what we did earlier and instead of adding the tattoo in and then correcting the other area you can actually add the tattoo to the skin wherever you want uh for example if i added the up here where there was no uv map i could actually go into unity or i mean i can go into blender here and i can click on another area here for an example if i go here i can just select that area go into UV editing and I can move that tattoo over top of I can actually put the tattoo wherever I want as long as you UV map I was using there we go so now I put a tiny version of that tattoo over here as an example uh, but that about covers it. Uh, thank you, as always, for watching my tutorial. Um, please be sure to check out my Patreon and my other tutorials. Uh, that will um, be where I continue to add weekly more and more tutorials. And you can also leave suggestions for future um, tutorials in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching.